Welcome to Art Tip 42, and we're going to be covering the GG Dist package and specifically focusing on how to build rain cloud plots. That's uh, this is the plot that we're going to be making right here. And if you um, have never made a rain cloud plot before, what it does is it combines a box plot and some distributional plots, um, a histogram or a density plot. Uh, and this, what this does is it shows us not only kind of what the central tendency and the range of the data is, but also gives you a distribution um, that allows you to inspect beyond what the box plot normally gives you. So uh, we'll specifically be focusing in on this bimodal relationship here. Um, so check this one out. This is a six cylinder engine, and then we have highway fuel economy. And we can see that some vehicles, it seems like there's uh, another relationship that we need to dive into here. Um, because there's a bimodal, there's some of the, the um, uh, density that's here towards the end and some here uh, that's up here. So we want to understand what these uh, the differences are between within this sample where the groups lie. So um, we'll be talking a little bit more about that, but really what I want to show you is how to build this visualization. So uh, to get started here, um, what you need to do is you need to download our weekly R tips. Um, so to get the code, sign up for our weekly R tips here. Here's the link in the video notes. Um, what that's going to do is give you access to our GitHub repo. We're going to do a Git pull. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up our, it's going to download all of our files and uh, we're going to access the 042 rain cloud plots. And this is the file that we're going to be working out of today. So we have 42 of these tips already. Um, open it up once you have it open you can open up the outline too to follow along and uh, again we're going to be making this visualization here um, a cu couple of quick credits before we get started um, this uh, that this tutorial was actually based on a blog article that Cedric Scherer has written it's an amazing blog article I highly encourage you to check this out uh, I included the link here and I've slightly modified his code to be able to use on the mpg data set all right, so let's get started. Let's load in our libraries. We're going to be using the ggdisk package. We're going to be using tidyquana and the tidyverse. And what we're going to be doing is working with the MPG data set. The MPG data set contains the manufacturer model and it also contains the highway and city fuel economy. We'll pri primarily be focusing on the highway fuel economy when we make this visualization and we're going to be analyzing attributes like the engine size so the number of cylinders in the vehicle and you can see there's four six and eight so we're going to understand kind of what the distribution is where the median lies and then also kind of within the sample these distributions using this rain cloud plot technique so uh, to get started what we're going to do is rain cloud plots it's very powerful for visualizing the modality of distributions and what i mean by that is when we have a bimodal relationship something like this the rain cloud plot plots highlight this, whereas you can't see that in the box plot. All you can see is the median and the range of the data. But when you add dot plots and um, a distribution plot, uh, you get this rain cloud looking effect. And it allows us to see kind of that bimodality and understand your distribution a little bit more. So we're going to show you how to make that. Um, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my data set and just filter the main um, cylinder classes. So for four cylinder six cylinder and eight cylinder are the uh, types of cylinder engine sizes that i'm interested in then what i'm going to do is create a ggplot canvas and th what this does is it maps the cylinder i'm changing this from a in integer to a factor so that's better for grouping um, and then my y is going to be my highway and then the fill is going to be based on my cylinder um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use from the GG dist package, the stat half I. So we have to make a few adjustments to it. Um, and what this does is it gives us this effect of a distribution. Now we turn the width off. So there's a, a thing called a slab in interval. So if I do uh, width five um, and run this bit here, control enter, you'll see that, um, uh, Oh, it needs to be um, zero to one, sorry, width one, control enter. Uh, and you can see it adds what's called that slab interval. Um, if you do uh, width of 0 0.5, and you can see kind of a little bit better what the effect is. So um, this is the uh, kind of the, the, the interval of the, we'll say the quantile or the distribution. Um, so this is the 50th percentile. 
um, but we want to turn that off uh, so we'll just uh, drop it down to zero and what that does is it removes that slab interval okay just leaving the distribution so um, and you can adjust the distribution uh, you can make the bandwidth uh, like 1.5 and that will adjust the distribution here um, and make it kind of so you can see the the um, uh, the, the granularity or kind of make it a little bit smoother of a distribution. Okay, so we're going to leave it at 0 0.5. Um, the justification negative 2 shifts this distribution over just a little bit. So negative 0 0.2. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a box plot. So the geom box plot gets added in here. Um, I have adjusted the width to make it 0 0.12. And that just makes it a little bit skinnier so it doesn't take up the whole screen and, and run over or bleed over into this um, and into the, the half eye. Um, and we made the outlier color NA, so we removed any of the outliers. Uh, and then the alpha I, I set to 0 0.5, so it gives us the see through. Um, the next piece is the stat dots. So we're using from ggdist again stat underscore dots. And if I run this bit here from here all the way down to here, control and enter, it now adds some dots over here. And then uh, the last piece is, and it's put, just putting those dots on the, on the left uh, and justifying it a little bit to shift it to the left a little bit. Um, and then the last piece is just adjusting the theme, uh, changing the, the fill color, adding the tidy quant theme, uh, adding some labels, and then uh, we'll just run this ex everything except for the chord flip. So if I do shift and enter or control and enter, uh, we, we see it look now looks like this. Um, and then if I do the whole thing with the chord flip, uh, what the chord flip does is it basically rotates and puts the highway down here and the engine size up here. So it went from this where we had highway up here and engine size and it just flipped it. Um, so it looks like this. And that's the final visualization. So if you want to learn more about visualizations, I highly recommend the R for Business Analysis course. It's DS4B 101-R. I teach over four hours just on ggplot, and I do that in week four. Um, so if you're interested in learning data visualization, it's a core skill. I can't stress that enough. And if you want to go even beyond, if you're committed to going from beginner to expert in under six months, check out the five course art track. So the 101 course is the first course in that track, and it will help you learn all of the tools like Shiny, machine learning, time series forecasting. These are the core skill sets that will help you accelerate your career and help your business in the, at the same time. So definitely check that out. I have links in the video notes. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.